folks, how are you doing? I hope that I find you all very well indeed and you're all having a brilliant day. The sun is absolutely shining here. It's a glorious day and it always puts you in a good mood, I find. Right, today I've got for you this cracking wee recipe. It's another slow cooker recipe because you guys are really enjoying the slow cooker recipes and I completely understand because they're, you know, they're perfect if you're pushed for time and they're foolproof. You know, you just throw everything in and you walk away and come back and you've got yourself a beautiful meal and this one is no exception in fact this is probably one of the tastiest slow cooker recipes that I do and I haven't done this for a long long time it used to feature quite a lot in my meals of the week you know going back a few months but I haven't done it since I've bought the new white plates <laughs> since I had the tartan plates so that's showing you how long ago this actually was that we, you know that I made this but I thought I'd pop it on just to let you see it because if you like beef and broccoli and sort of oriental flavours, you're going to absolutely love this. So this is what I've got and this is what I'm using. Again, I've listed everything down below in case you want to follow along. So first of all, I've got a tablespoon of chilli powder. I've used hot chilli powder, but you can use mild if you don't like it so hot. And if you don't have any chilli powder, you can use chilli flakes as well. Sometimes I use chilli flakes but today I'm using chilli powder. I've got four tablespoons of corn flour, I've got 700 grams which is a pound and a half of cubed beef, I've got one head of broccoli which I've cut into florets, I've got 250 mils of beef stock which is a cup, I've got 120 mils of soy sauce which is half a cup and it's best to use low sodium if you can find it. I've used one medium onion which I've diced, four cloves of minced garlic or chopped garlic, one tablespoon of sesame oil. This is quite important. That's going to give you this lovely distinctive oriental flavour. So please don't skip the sesame oil. <laughs> 55 grams of brown sugar which is about a quarter cup. Yep, so that's it. So let's move on and see what's next. So for my beef stock today, I'm just going to use a beef cube. It just makes things a lot simpler. And the first thing you want to do is set your slow cooker to high. And then you're going to make the base of your sauce. So grab yourself a bowl. You can do this directly in the slow cooker. I just like to do it beforehand. So pop in your beef stock. This is 240 mils. And then your soy sauce, which is 120 mils. Then your sesame oil, this is one tablespoon. Like I said, this is quite an important step, the sesame oil. And then your garlic, this is four cloves of minced garlic. Then your brown sugar, this is 55 grams of soft brown sugar. And I'm going to pop in a tablespoon of hot chilli powder. But like I say, you can use chilli flakes or leave it out altogether if you don't like it spicy. And you just want to give that a good mix in to dissolve a bit of your sugar. And then you can pop in your onion. This is just one medium onion, which I've diced up quite small. Give it another wee stir. And then you're going to go over to your slow cooker. And as usual, I always pop some boiling water into mine just to warm it up. But you don't have to do this. This is just a habit of mine. But if you do, just make sure to tip your water away before you start using, you know, before you start adding your ingredients. So to your crock pot, you just want to put in your sauce. This smells amazing already. And then your beef. Just give it a wee stir just to make sure it's submerged. Then you just want to pop your lid on and you want to cook this for about three and a half hours on high. And then for the last half hour, we're going to pop your broccoli in and the corn flour. If it needs it, it might not need it. So this was me three and a half hours later. I'm just going to have a wee look just to see how thick, you know, it is. 
So I've just popped four tablespoons of corn flour and four tablespoons of water to make a paste and I just added half of that in. You might not need it all, you know, it'll depend how thick you actually like it. We never like these kind of things too thick. So this was fine for me. I only used half of my corn flour mixture and just want to pop your broccoli in. Give it a wee push down and then give it another half an hour. So it's had four hours all together and this is ours done. It's absolutely delicious and it smelt insane. You could actually smell this upstairs. And I've just made some white rice with peas mixed in. I love rice, but some of us are having rice and some are having chips. So that's the rice. And that is the beef and broccoli on the side. Like I said, a couple of us are having chips. So there's the chips. And again, the broccoli and beef on the side. And this is so rich and so tasty. Mr. What's For Tea isn't usually a fan of these kind of things, but even he likes this. And this was me eating mine. I'm just trying to show you how tender this beef is. Now, it wasn't easy to do this one-handed, <laughs> as you'll see. I, I couldn't pick it up. It was so, so tender. It kept wanting to just drop off the fork. It was absolutely wonderful. And like I say, I haven't made this for such a long, long time. But you forget how nice things are, you know, when you haven't had them for for a while. But yeah, I'll definitely need to do this again soon. So thank you very much again, guys, for coming over and sticking with it to the end. And, I, you know, I give this a go if you're a fan of these kind of recipes. You know, it's a definite, it's a, a Chinese takeaway classic. And it's a real favourite with so many people for a very good reason. It's quite sweet as well, but again, if you don't like it so sweet, you don't have to put the full amount of sugar in. Just pop half of it in. Or again, you don't have to put it in at all. It's one of these recipes that's very forgiving. You know, you can adapt it to your own flavours. And once, you know, once you've made it a few times, you'll know what you like in it and what you don't like in it. So yeah, so hopefully you'll give it a go. And if you do decide to give it a go, mind and let me know, because I like when you say, oh, I made it tonight or I'm going to make it next week or I made it and I love it. You know, it's always nice to read these kind of comments. So yeah, so like I said, thank you again for popping over and seeing what's going on and it means the absolute world. I just love making these wee videos for you. You know, it's a real passion of mine, cooking. You know, it's never anything fancy or overly fussy or anything. It's just things that I like to make and I want to share. It's, you know, just hopefully you guys will make some of these recipes and like them as well and then share them with your friends and family in the future. So I'm expecting my degusta box in the next few days I didn't do, well, I did get it last month, but I didn't record it because I didn't want to do the unboxing every month, you know, because I did ask you in a wee poll whether you wanted to see them every month or every other month, and you did say every other month, so I skipped the unboxing last month, so I'll do this month when it comes. So that'll be the next thing to come, so hopefully I'll see you back for that. So until I see you guys, mind to take care of yourselves, and I'll leave you with this wee bit of footage, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, and take care.